Hello my YouTube family, welcome to the Good Vibes channel. Today I'm really excited to share my first ever makeup tutorial video with you all. In this video, I will show you how to do the HD makeup and the important steps involved in it. I will also be using the variety of cosmetic brands, it's not just going to be one brand. Uh, this video will significantly be longer than usual since I have covered all the important steps. However, I'm confident that you're going to really enjoy watching this video and it will be useful to you in some manner. I have also listed down the products that I've used in this video in the description box below. Unfortunately, I couldn't capture all of them as we were filming this video during one-to-one -one training with the makeup enthusiast. So let's get started. So I got here a very gorgeous model. You can see from her skin, which is uh, non-textured, very beautiful. Uh, I have already prepped her skin just with the Neutrogena wipe, facial wipe, and then followed with the a gush, a prime, and set spray, and give it give it some time for the skin to pack dry before I start with the the foundation. I have used here Max Studio Fix N35, which falls between the neutral shade, which goes very well with the combination skin of um, warmer and cooler tone so she got both if you can see her uh, face got some slight redness earlier which is on the cooler side but the forehead and the neck is most on the warmer side so this foundation is perfect so the key element here is blending guys very very slight strokes do not do not give pressure on the model's face this is very impolite so very little little strokes i apologize some parts of the videos are i have a speed it up so that we cover all the major steps otherwise it's going to be way too longer i have also used here the concealer of the similar skin shade of the model but i have used rather a matte foundation two two or three shades lighter to her skin tone as a highlighter Again, blending and blending and blending. I really hope that you'll see in the video. Some of some part of the video is slower so that you understand the motions of uh, the blending strokes and some part would be faster so that I can cover all the major steps. There was lots of talks going on uh, while we were filming this uh, video as it was on during a one-on-one -on -one, uh, demonstration with the makeup enthusiast. I really enjoyed making this uh, video and I'm really excited sharing this with you guys. Uh, so once we finish with the base, the, the step that you're going to follow is to spray. Uh, gosh, Don Derma is the only HD makeup product that I've used. Uh, rest all of the makeup products are non HD that's what it makes us HD is high definition is how you're gonna do the steps and the layers that you are gradually building on the skin that is what makes it high definition with the camera and the lighting that you're gonna have on the models face gonna make it look HD and high definition some part of the video you will also be seeing uh, the model's face and how it is being transformed after each step of the makeup and how the makeup is sinking onto her skin and that is a uh, notification that your makeup is getting right it's not getting cracky and it is settling on her skin I aim to create a very trendy look here with the lighter and bushy eyebrows you see which is more in trend these days. Uh, surely I'm going to do a detailed video on what are the products that you will be using and what are the techniques. You will also be seeing that uh, I'll be using different uh, makeup products over different phases of her skin, not just what it is meant to be. Uh, that's how I have brought versatility in my makeup over the years. I have used here Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick to intensify the powder eyeshadow later on. So the wisely you're going to use this product this is all meant to be used on your face so these are all safe 
but how you're going to be wisely using your makeup product as a makeup artist going to bring it to your signature look that's going to make the most and efficient use of your makeup products so i'm going to create a hollow look uh, for the eyes but it's going to be a darker shade pop popping on the eyeball rather the lighter one i'm sure you're going to love this look it's a transition from lighter to darker shades i'm going to make a more detailed video on it i just want you to understand how is the motion of the brush uh, during uh, the application of the eyeshadow it's always towards the inwards on the eyeball not the outwards So I have almost done with the eye makeup. Uh, I'm gonna use the lash glue to apply the glitter. I have used the chunky glitter, not the glitter eyeliner as you can see. I, I believe the chunky glitter gives more of a sparkly effect over the eyes, but yet keep it very subtle. Uh, but it's your choice. You can also use the glitter eyeliner if that's what you have it with you. Uh, I have already done with the eye makeup and I've started doing contouring. Contouring, I have not used a cream product here because I do not want to intense the sculpted look. I yet wanted to keep her face uh, look very natural in her own uh, shape. So the model's face has lots of dimensions already so I just do not want it to intense it. Um, but however the other steps I have used the cream based product and then followed with the powder so that's how it's gonna create layers of makeup very gradually to make it look high definition. So like again I have used here a semi matte lipstick that I had as a cream blush and then followed with the powder blush. Uh, this technique will definitely intense the layers of makeup that you are building over the skin and that's how it makes like high definition and increase the longevity of the makeup. So every step that I was working over her face, once I have finished it I was spraying the HD Dondorma. Uh, this is where you're gonna give allow the makeup to settle with the spray it's gonna set on the skin so well that once it's blended well over with the skin oils it's gonna turn out to be an absolutely gorgeous and natural finishing look so I have followed with the highlighter I have also not used intense highlighter because I wanted to let the makeup sink on her skin with the natural oils and that's gonna give a natural glow on her skin as you can see after every step I have used a set spray and allow the skin to lock each layer of the makeup so it blend well with the natural oils of the skin. So we are almost end of our makeup tutorial guys. I'm gonna repeat the step once again of spraying set spray and water before gonna dab with the paper towel. There will be slight amount of makeup transfer on it but that means that's the only excess. The lesser it transfer that means the layers have built very evenly on the skin and that's gonna retain the natural glow of the skin. That's how you can easily create an HD look with the makeup products that you have available in your kit. So the smooth and evenly blended makeup do not reflect harsh lines due to the camera and a lighting. That's what it makes HD. I really hope you enjoy watching this video and please do like, share and subscribe for more. Uh, please do drop your comments and questions in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer you back. Until then, bye, take care.